What's up, Bella Danis? Hi, Bellwood. I am Kaylin Behrens. I'm the editor-in-chief of the BA Blueprint and the editor of Forgotten Bellwood. I am Maya Decker, and I am the multimedia editor of BA Blueprint, and I am the host of Forgotten Bellwood. Wow. <laughs> We're here. This is a surreal, like, thing for us. So yeah, just, this is It's going to be chill. We're just going to talk. talk. Yep. Okay. Um, so, Forgotten Bellwood. Uh, this is part B of our finale. Yes. Um, it's been a crazy year. We've accomplished so much with this series, and we really just want to reach out and thank the community for all of their support. Yes. And it's been it's been so overwhelming just to see all the positive feedback from the community and how interested they are in what we've created. It's just it's so heartwarming. Yeah. Um, we've seen the Facebook comments. We've seen. Um, We've heard you guys talking to us. We've seen the impact it's had. Um, I've been, I drop down in the middle school sometimes to drop off papers or like do some stuff. And um, I opened Miss Davis's door the one day and all the kids were like, ah, and I was like, <laughs> and, and she's like, we've been watching your Forgotten Melon. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. And they had questions and they wanted to know because most of them haven't even been in the high school. They wanted to know where the stuff was and it was just cool to see their reaction even um in the school so that was interesting Mm -hmm. so we just kind of wanted to thank the community for taking part in what we're doing because i know it's a big deal to us but um it's nice to see that it's a big deal to somebody else too so it's very cool to see how like older generations um from us and younger generations from us are so interested to see like the blast from the past you yeah. know it's cool for us because we're a generation that has no idea what this place looked like um before the remodel so it was really cool just to explore that um there's a bug in your hair oh thank you <laughs> um we also wanted to thank yes. tim mercer that man killed it um, yes we brought him on to help us walk through the school and give us all of the information um so we could get a clearer picture um to give to the community and he ran with it like mm-hmm. i have never seen so much enthusiasm and uh, so much heart yeah at one point he was like all right so we're gonna start at this angle <laughs> and we're gonna film from here and we're gonna and go we're over gonna here say this and we were like Okay. Okay, Tim. We're like, okay, Tim. We got this. We're, like, we're following you. Yeah, and he was so invested in it, and we couldn't have picked a better person to yeah. co-host with Maya. It was just fantastic. Yeah. So thank you, Tim, for doing that with us. We appreciate you, Tim. Yes. We also want to thank um, our part-time co-host, Mr. Leverage. Uh, he filmed in two episodes with us. Yes. And um, especially on the last one, he was... Tim wanted um, Mr. Leverage to film with us just because he was a little more knowledgeable on the topics so we want to thank him for his knowledge and his patience with us yes <laughs> he definitely experienced some of the most life-changing episodes yeah <laughs> so um yes. we thank we want to thank him for yeah. helping and having patience yes and he provided us with a lot of cool uh like art effects uh what do you newspaper articles yeah. um from the past that and were pictures. really cool and pictures that we would have never gotten if he couldn't have hosted with us so yeah. thank you mr leverage okay so we're just kind of gonna recap the whole year um Kaylin, where did the idea i wasn't originally part of the idea so we're natural filming <laughs> there's a bird okay um Okay, no, so for the idea for this, um, last year um, I was the multimedia editor, um, and the prior editor-in-chief, Sydney Patterson and Mr. Naylor, um, all three of us were sitting in a room and we were discussing like video ideas for the 2018-19 school year, and this was the one that we came up with, but we never realized how big of an impact it would have, and we didn't really know if we could get it off of the ground. Um, originally... Um, we were going to bring someone else on to film. I was going to host um, it by myself and go through all the artifacts by myself, and that's how it was going to be. This year, Sydney had graduated. I'm the editor-in-chief. We brought on Maya. Um, 
she's our multimedia editor so we were like ah like she kills it with too cool for school <laughs> so why would we not have her host and honestly um i'm way more comfortable behind the camera it's where i like to be she's better in front of the camera so we kind of used our strengths put them together uh to create this series um and that's kind of how it happened and then nailer's just been uh sitting back and watching oh, us go yeah did we thank him? No. Yes. And we, we have want to. to thank Mr. Naylor. Mr. Naylor is the heart of the blueprint. Yes. And the reason why it is so good. Um, what we don't get done, he gets done. And man, um, like, it's we're appreciative of that. Yes. Um, I haven't been around as long as Kaylin has, but like I know I like I see what he's doing, and mm-hmm. so for him to have been doing that for how long is insane and i just um appreciate that i also appreciate that he just lets you take an idea and run with it like yeah and that's what this series was for yeah. us like it was an idea that he kind of helped get started and then we just ran with it and he was like okay you can do this like yeah. and he had he got excited about it too he threw in so much support for us which is yeah. a big deal and i feel like he doesn't get enough recognition Mm-mm. you know what i mean so like he does a lot for the site so he's a uh, He's definitely our number one supporter. But. Yeah. So thank you, Mr. Thanks, Naylor. Thanks, Mr. Naylor. Anyway. Back to that. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So that's how Maya got involved. Mm-hmm. And Tim, we obviously asked Tim to come on because he had a lot of information. Um, and then we just kind of went off. We just yeah. kind of found an idea and ran with it. Whatever we could find, we did. And it mm-hmm. kind of happened so that we went in a circle around the Mm -hmm. school a little bit like each episode kind of flowed into the other one Mm -hmm. so that was cool and yeah um I think we have Tim to thank for that just because he had the big old blueprints and Mm -hmm. um we rolled them out and we saw where we could go and yeah so that was cool it kind of flowed yeah and that wasn't planned either because when we were brainstorming ideas they were all sorts of out of order and we were were just gonna like pick a spot one week and go there and then just randomly pick another spot the next week but tim was like no like let's let's run them together let's have like a cycle so people can follow along where we're going in the school and the public loved that we had little cliffhangers at the end and i think um that made i think that made the whole thing oh it's raining (laughs) that made the whole thing um more enjoyable for everyone yeah so they were curious to see what we come up with what we would come up with next next week Yeah. yeah so that was fun yeah it was fun what was your favorite episode? Um, I think I think my favorite episode was the locker room. Just yeah. because girls don't go down there. <laughs> Nobody, Nobody goes, goes down, down there. there. <laughs> and so um, that was fun to film. Yeah. Um, especially walking in and walking out was really cool. Yeah. Just because we don't get to go down there. And so that was in my 12 years of being at Bell Anis, I've never seen the locker room not even pictures so it was really interesting and we also have like a little clip of us like running up the stairs like the boys would on game <laughs> yeah night. like helmets so, on and stuff that was fun the, for me. Um, and the other thing about that episode is if you watch it you can see maya's excitement <laughs> from the second like we walk in she's like like it is it is crazy and I think it's. I think that was one of our most popular ones because so many people wonder what the football room, yeah. fo- football locker room looks like. Yeah. So it was really cool to go down there. Speaking of the excitement, um, <clears throat> so behind the scenes a little bit, we usually got all the information on the place before mm-hmm. we went and filmed, and then we had to hear the information a second time. So it wasn't as exciting to us as the first time. Right. But... The locker room was different because it's there, but you can't see in it. Like, you can mm-hmm. see the football field. You can see the gyms. And, like, that's cool. Mm-hmm. You don't know the facts yet, and you learn them, and then whatever. You film. Mm-hmm. But the locker room, we learned the facts, and I'm like, yeah, that's so cool. That yeah. makes it cooler. <laughs> yeah. And so then we go down, and I'm like, ah! And we filmed. <laughs> it was like it was like it was the crazy. first time I was hearing the information. So yeah. that's how we act, like, when we first hear it. Right. So it was cool to see that on film rather than behind the scenes yeah so i think that was my favorite episode yeah that was really fun what was your favorite episode oh man um (laughs) i would have to say that my favorite episode was probably the basement episode Mm -hmm. our first one um 
the f- the first episode for a lot of people when starting like a TV series or something like that is a little bumpy. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of things that you have to change. Um, we not to hype ourselves up. We killed that episode. We did. Um, <laughs> that we. <laughs> that was put, one take. We put so much effort into researching that, yeah. into filming that. Um, Maya with you and Tim, like figuring out what you were gonna say, editing, like everything was so thought out with that episode and the public was like what (laughs) like we're seeing it now and so and what was so cool for me was after I published it like I don't know about you but a bunch of students came up to me and they were like we have a basement yeah like nobody knew we had a basement yeah so everyone was like like what so um that was just so cool and so much fun to film and that really sparked like our love and passion for creating this series I think that was a good start and and, um, that idea came from Kaylin, Kaylin. So Kaylin and Naylor together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so, um, that was good on your part because the public, most of the younger, sorry, the younger public <laughs> did not know about the basement. So yeah. they were like, what? And then yeah. they were, they just wanted to watch every episode. Yeah. And that's what got them hooked, which yeah. was so cool to see the we had serious interest like hundreds of views and yeah. interest on these so that was so. kind of shocking yes so another thing that's been really cool about this is with every little um episode and like historic place. artifact place that we went to maya and i got to like take part in involve it. ourselves in the history so like with the locker room like she was mentioning earlier <laughs> The football team, if you didn't know, go watch the episode, (laughs) runs out of the locker room and hits the mural um, and starts yelling. So Maya and I put on the football helmet, (laughs) ran out the door, (laughs) and started yelling. And so it's just little stuff like that that we did um, to kind of, like, take part in the history, which was also very fun. And on part A of the finale, um, Mr. Leverage let us get a football and run across the field while the sprinklers were going and Kaylin hit a touchdown and like we danced and hugged and it <laughs> yeah, was great it was so fun so that was another one we have an uh, other couple moments so we have clips of that time. we had yeah. good times we had good a lot memories. of laughs yes yeah so i think so, that's about it in closing thank you again for supporting our addiction dream addiction yeah. <laughs> love passion um it's been so fun um it's been a great way to end our blueprint careers and um we're gonna miss you guys yeah so we graduate in a couple days yep and we just wanted to get this out there for you so and we got through it without crying we did almost Almost. so (laughs) so thank you for supporting us and um continue to support the blueprint Um, yes we've got a lot of great writers coming up they all work so hard yeah so keep keep up with them they're good kids so thank you thank you and we're gonna sign off now signing off